Shirewolves owe us lunch money, and we will be taking it at that event. Whitworth, the system, the clock, Harlow, none of these guys can get in front of my destiny. We'll shut the door, we'll shut Hi. the door. <clears throat> you look so, delicious today, wonderful. And oh, what, Brian, is it, what does that mean? Your aura just bathes me in saturation. I just and the, and need the, to know something really quick. You have victory How smell How should right I now. know you? Because we're, we're the, the king's men. We're, we're the king's men, and you're oh, the kings. queen right now. Yes. It's oh. a free for all, and so wow. we want to be the, the queen's kingsmen. You want to be the queen, we can be your queen. I don't, I don't really understand what's Alice. happening actually okay, well, right now. We saw how classy and elegant you were. Wonderful. In, in the free for all. The Is best. this really how you talk, though? Uh, well, now, yes, until I just four, need yes. to. Okay. Yes, for, for the queen. For the queen of herself, oh. you know, Elizabeth who. <laughs> <laughs> what we want to ask you is, uh, yes. is of course, because mm -hmm. you're so classy and we're yes. so classy. Let's get to the point. Let's we get need to, to the make point. this competition classy and yeah. we want your title shot. No. Oh, well, <laughs> well that wasn't a definite no. <laughs> no. That, that was a... Yeah. In Sweden, no means maybe sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but in America, no means no. But how she, definitive she's is She's smiling. Show. She's smiling. That's definitely... Yeah, look at that grin, you charming. We get it. We know. Yeah. You've got a, we got a bit down. Board. It's a definitive no. But it's not an it could, argumentative it's a, no. It's an argumentative. It's, it's an maybe. imperative. That's a maybe. A no, That's a no, maybe. And a no. we got a maybe. A lot of people are going to ask me who my team partner is going to be, when I'm going to get back to the teams. You have a teammate. Of course I do. Uh, I've decided on a, on a partner. We're going to go uh, the lovely uh, Diane Lane. And your <laughs> winners <laughs> by way of technical <laughs> knockout. <laughs> Clark, whoa, Mark. The world was not built in a day. Julius Caesar lost many Schmodown matches before that could happen. Wow, Barry's coming straight for you, DJ and Sam. And go the winner with a hot score of 22 to 20. I'm just so goddamn upset. Fuck, shit, boss. I think we're done here. Give us another match, you sons of bitches, because we're the most entertaining team in the league, goddammit. 2017 was the year that the Schmodown fully embraced its identity as a corporate Sellout organization! If you wanted a celebrity match, you put the Wild Berries against anybody. Alright, alright, so you got you got the Wild Berries and the real rejects about to go ahead to have You see the red, the white, the blue! I'm wearing this because we play for the common man, not the corporate chills backstage at Smowdown Tower. Driving their limousines. <laughs> I got here in a Toyota Camry. Like everyone else. And a Honda Civic. And your Look out, Kingsman. Kingsman! We're coming for you! <laughs> we are the Kingsmen, the Kingsmen we are, and we are here to bring some class and some stature back to this competition because watching for a little while now, everybody's so loud and obnoxious. Move your oxygen out of the way, please. <laughs> Do I have to say what is? No. This is not Jeopardy. Okay. We asked you a question, we need an answer. Thank you for that, that clarification. Your winners are... World! <laughs> You guys don't know that maybe we just like to just hustle a couple people out there, you know? Maybe you never seen white man can't jump. The Kingsman will be back. We're riding on our horses and we will take these guys down. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's Nigel Thornberry. I heard that you challenged us. Go on. Challenge. Ladies and 
gentlemen, once again, and welcome back to the movie. Trivia Schmodown alongside Ken Knapsack. I am Mark Baby Caratelis. Ken, two things about me. One, I will not bow to any corporate sponsor. And two, I love myself a good Schmodown match. We got one today. Absolutely. I've been looking forward to seeing, uh, actually, I'm joking. I'm not looking forward to seeing anyone compete today because <laughs> uh, I am in the corner of the Patriots, the greatest team of all time. Oh, boy. So to me, this is just... A couple of uh, practice fodder teams scrimmaging for someone uh, so a team will eventually defeat it. You've got the Kingsmen. Now, I do respect the Kingsmen. They've got style. They've got grace. If they only hung around with truly evil people like us in the Lions, dead, they might learn a thing or two about getting an edge. But the Wildberries, Mark Ellis, they're nothing more than something you are against. Corporate shills for their own propaganda and T-shirts. I, uh, the wild berries, when they're at the party, I want to look for the back door to get on out of there. Uh, you know, as a great lead singer once said, maybe the Kingsmen go to a party. The wild berries are the party as of right now. And I think you could learn something from the wild berries because they were such great entertainers at our first live Schmodown, which before we get into this matchup, I want to remind everybody we have the new live Schmodown has been announced. It's at the El Portal Theater in North Hollywood, California on June 2nd. You are going to see two tremendous matches, one of which involves this evening evil son of a gun right here, Ken Knapsack, going up against Joseph Scrimshaw and Alex Damon in a triple threat. I don't believe it's your first triple threat, at least it's your first one since college, and it involves Star Wars this time. Yeah, and I paid for that one. This one I am just attending, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I have a lot of respect for Alex Damon of Star Wars Explained, Joseph Scrimshaw, the Force Center podcast. It's why it breaks my heart that I have to go into an arena to them and defeat them to go get my rightful spot, which is a rematch against Sam Witwer. I still think the Lions Den legal team is trying to work on a way to just get me past this match to directly take on Whitworth, but one thing's for sure, I, a live crowd, it's a lot of fun. We, even a grumpy old man like me, had a lot of fun at the last event, and we're gonna have a lot of fun June 2nd, come out and see them in person, all wave politely from a distance. Uh, carnage will ensue, then we're gonna hop on the old hyperspace train in less than 12 parsecs, back to our headlining match that night, which is the Shire Wolves taking on team action. Should be a good matchup all around. But here today, what we're looking at is, like I said, the Wild Berries, they're known as entertainers, and now they're also known as winners. They started out 0-2. Nobody ever gave them a shot to win a match. They were just kind of fun at parties. And all of a sudden, they get a big win at the live event. And the Kingsmen are looking down the barrel at an 0-2 start themselves if they don't pull this one out. What's going to happen today, Kim? Uh, look, absolutely. This is this is a must win for both these teams. And it is a battle of con uh, contrasting styles. In the mid-90s, Britpop. You remember Britpop? Oasis versus Blur. Oasis was music for a Saturday night. Blur, music for a Sunday morning. I think Oasis That's had the brothers versus each other. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh. So what uh, what we have here is two contrasting styles. They're yeah. going to get in here. We're going to see what's going to happen. But who knows? Maybe the Kingsmen, they're the type. They take off those coats. They do a shot, and they're in the party, too. And uh, I do have a tale of the tape. Oh, well, we have a tale of the tape. I mean, what do we go to? Do we or, go to the interviews? Do we go to the oh, tale yeah, of the no, tape? You know it's what? a whole mess here. No. It's a contrast of styles. No, you and I are water, <laughs> beer. Uh, I, I say we go and hear what they have to say. All right, listen, world. We had a pretty good thing going with a perfect losing streak, but those days are done. They're over. We are winners. This starts the Wild Berries winning streak. Hashtag it, put it on a t-shirt. And they're gonna sell like hotcakes. Oh, dearie, how insulting is it that we will challenge to this oh-so-diabolical match by two wild animals? Wild animals could not have been a more perfect way to describe these two. The, the wild thornberries. Thank Nigel you, and Priscilla, I'm not sure what their names are, but one of them looks like a Priscilla. But also, they think we're easy pickings. No, Wild Berries, you're the berries, you're the easy pickings. Now we're taking on the Kingsmen. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're doing this for America. For America. America. USA. The Stripes and the Stars. You can go find your tea down in Boston Harbor, Brits, because that's, that's a, where we dumped it. That's a baseball swing. We don't play cricket, okay? Football is with your hands. Cricket is a bug, not a sport! Did you hear them? They're calling out the red, white, and blue, and I'm not sure if they're familiar. They're probably not, because they're American. 100% British. 100% yeah. British. And you want to know what flag? What flag is also red, white, and blue? What flag? The, the United Jack. Thank you very much. Red, white, and blue. I'm not even sure Devin is English. His accent, it wobbles at times. 
He's I like think Tom Hardy be... in Venom. We don't know what accent. I think is. Devin might be ashamed of his true heritage, which is shameful. He's from America. He was born in the red, white, and blue. Not the other red, white, and blue. You are going to try and call this man un-British? How? That is... Damn you. Just... Uh, if I had another uh, napkin, I would throw it at his neck had, again. If I had my cup of tea right now, it would be poured out. I would not waste my crumpet on it, you because you're not worth my crumpet, but a cup of tea I can get anywhere. Oh, say does that wild berries... Da Play ball! Baseball! Football! None of soccer playing BS! It's yeah. Wild Berries time! Sorry, I'm taking the mic! You know, Ken, as a spokesperson yeah. for dumb Americans, mm -hmm. I will say the Wild Berries, though they may be funny, they're really throwing some barbs at the Kingsman, calling them fake Brits. I know the Oasis and Blur and Beatles fan that you are, you mm -hmm. probably take offense to that as well. I mean, I, I, I kind of do, but, you know, Devon, uh, to, to, to just out, out and accuse him of that kind of thing, they, well, this is what the Wild Berries do. They get in your head. Can the Kingsman kind of overcome that kind of mental warfare? But, I mean, this is what you look forward to with this match. The movie trivia, it's a nice side dish. That's the mashed potatoes to the steak that is then throwing barbs at each other maybe doing keg stands who knows what's about to ensue before we get to the match we have a tale of the tape oh yeah <laughs> sorry uh, what a great uh, throw by mark uh, ellis can no, naps like a little no. shaky on the pickup no 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 uh look here we go kingsman uh i spoke to them before the match and was like what all your skills. Devon really wants the world to know that he was Will Smith's first follower on Instagram. That's big, even before Jaden. Yeah, which means he's he knows a lot about Will Smith. Uh, uh, Jack knows 21st uh, century movies, British actors, uh, rom-coms. So, you know, we'll see. It's not necessarily well-rounded on paper, but I think they were having fun with me, uh, and I understand. Uh, but the Wild Bears, who I refuse to speak to before the match, their skills include drinking, debauchery, and merchant ivory films, which I thought was an interesting wrinkle to that. Yeah, you know? would not expect it from those young men, but they've surprised surprised us before, certainly at the live event. Who is going to surprise us here today? Whoever wins, we are going to be surprised. Ken, how are you feeling right now? Uh, well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Then it's time to schmo down. All right. Let's get to the introductions. Introducing first. Representing her majesty's royal guard with a record of zero wins and one defeat they are the gentlemen jack hind and the debonair devon stewart collectively known as the and here they come debonair as ever Looking very royal guard is whether from Star Wars or from Great Britain, one and the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hello to Ken Napsack. Uh, they aspire to your ability one day, and they, oh, they're saying hi to the fans out there now. This is some of the nicest dress polite. we've had yet on the show. Checks very polite. Devon is working now. Devon, I think Will Smith should be following Devon on Instagram. Yeah, he, yeah I agree with that. I think that's the way that should work out. And their opponents from the realm of chaos with a record of one win and two defeats selling t-shirts around the world. They are the wild man, Josh Makuga and Elliot the Mountain Dewberry. Oh boy. They, they have a Beer paraphernalia, Ken. It looks like somebody's going to be uh, beer bonging, I believe oh, that's what the kids boy. call it. Crack that open, and now yeah. Elliot will be, oh, it looks oh. like doing the duties himself, okay. or is that Makuga's going to be doing that? We don't represent, uh, don't, uh, we don't, uh, no, we, we don't, don't recommend, uh, is what I'm trying to say. That you yeah, this is very all. dangerous, kids. Oh, These oh, are okay. trained professionals. Okay. They're not trained professionals. We don't no. really care if they live well, or die, though. Uh, we did learn some of this stuff in Pittsburgh at a trade school, so... Okay, and Elliot is going to get down to bong this beer. He's giving us a countdown, building the suspense. The tap is open, the beer is coming down the gullet now, and it is inside Elliot Dewberry. Wow, wow. Very 
excited about their home country. This is clearly 1776 all over again, Ken. It's, it's similar to. Okay, they want the Schmodown right. Wild again. Yeah, and that, um, that is similar to how oh, we oh, won oh, the oh, Revolutionary oh, War. He's yeah. sitting next to me. Now oh, that that boisterous display was over, there's um, some. I can't hear you. I don't speak oh, your oh, words. Oh, oh. Well, if you don't speak my words, uh, you mate. will speak these words. I was actually the champion beer bong drinker um, back in the UK. What wow. are you drinking out of a cricket so, bat? I'd, do you even know what a cricket bat is? Yeah, it's a flat cricket? wooden thing that you hit a hard ball with. That I hit your head with. Oh. Give me your beer bong. Oh, oh wait a minute. What? Ken, wait, what's... where's the rest of it? Aren't you supposed to finish it when yeah. you do it? It'll wow. Take. Okay, Makuga picking yeah. up. Is that how you do it in America? You just like half, get his half, do it? Do it? Generally, it is one finish. person to one beer and a bong. What are you going to put so, in the tea? Drink the rest of it? Is oh, this the start of the Schmodown beer? I will assure our fans, oh, at some gonna, point we will be gonna answering gonna movie trivia Smith, questions here. Beer? I had yeah. an extra one here. Yeah. Uh, and that flat. is a true fact. That's the Brits do true, enjoy their right, beer a yeah. little bit warmer than okay. we do here in the States. Right. There's no right or wrong answer. All right. And... Infected with wild berries! That's right! That didn't make much sense, but... I understood the joke. Uh, right. Ken, I prefer Makuga yelling off mic. Yeah, more so than off, off mic. mic's a little bit better for Josh Makuga to yell. And Makuga, uh, very courteous. Okay. Oh, dear Jack, don't oh. do it. So, put, put it in your mouth. Real okay. sign of oh. brotherhood. Okay. And here we go. We hope nobody has venereal uh, diseases. Yeah, well, that's it. And here oh. we go. The Kingsmen. Wow. Wow, Ken. I God think that uh, the first that, point goes to the Kingsman. Uh, uh, that, that, that might be the match and a uh, disrespect there. That was a... Uh, well, I'll beat you at that game. Now let me beat you at this game. Look, I... Oh, man. I don't now know do what's going on. All right, round two, butt uh. chugging. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> All right. Somebody had to bring up the B word, and that means we transition to movie trivia. No, that's what we're doing. I, I ju I'd just I like to point out real quick that I went to shake the man's hand like a proper gentleman from America. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And I right. was denied. Oh. Elliot, do you find that well, classy? They, no, I don't find it classy at all. These are the same people that brought smallpox to the new world. That's yeah. true. Can you really trust them? Wow. No, we can't trust them. And what the hell does cheeky mean anyway? Where I come from, we don't say those words. No. Nope. Nerd. Nope. We, we eat chicken we, out of a fucking fuck Nando. Should we talk about what America brought to the free world, or should we just move on and carry don't on? Don't fall into the trap of two St. Bernards. Let's go, Jack. I don't... Look, uh, so the Sherlock okay. Holmes oh. reference there, perhaps. Either way, this is kind of like the perfect melding of America and England, better known as Australia. Ken, <laughs> we are going to kick off the movie trivia portion of the show here. I will allow you to have the first question. Before we get to All that, right. I will break down the rules for the gentlemen and the not gentlemen at the table. Are we doing American rules or British rules? Right now. This yeah. is a worldwide earthling rules. Each question in round one is worth one point. You're going to hear eight of those questions from eight different movie categories. Keep in mind there is no stealing in round one. There is no penalty for missing a question in round one. Oh, each question. team has three usages of the JTE rule. If you're not sure of a question, you didn't hear it all the way through, use one of your JTE rules. Keep in mind you do only have three of those for the entire match. You also have a challenge. If you don't agree with the ruling that was made up here at our answer desk, you may use the challenge at your own peril. Uh, Wildberries, are you ready to go? I sure am, Mark. Okay, and Kingsman. Mr. Ken, Mark, correct. All right, Ken, then without further ado, hey, let's Mark, get hey, Mark, those, ready uh, to schmow down. Those uh, mountains on your jacket look blue and cold, my friend. Congratulations on your new corporate sponsorship. <laughs> I will point out the Coors Light is not paying us any money yet, but if you want to tag them in these tweets, we appreciate it. And uh, our corporate sponsor, Tee Public, where you can find the Wild Berries t-shirts and new Wild Berries t-shirt with me holding a keg in the air. You're welcome, America. And with that, Ken, oh, let's America. get ready to schmow down! Yeah. Three rounds to a finish. First question comes in the category of comedies. Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn's mentor, Chaz, moves on from crashing weddings to crashing what in order to meet women? Pretty uh, apropos question. Yeah. Um, kicking us off here, if you talk about the... Uh, it seems like five, movie. four, three, two, Dirty and comedy. one. Looking for answers, starting with Elliot. Funerals. That is correct. Wildberries. Fun funerals. That's correct. McCooks. I was going to say British high tea, but funerals. Please don't burp into the mic again. Devon. It's my bad. 
Fear all, sir. Perfect. And please perfect. shoot him after the show. <laughs> Take him out back and get rid of him like a dirty dog. All right. Our next question yep. comes from the world of animated movies. These are movies that are drawn by hand or by computer. Your question is, in Finding Nemo, what is Nemo's father's name? Nemo's father. <laughs> you find uh, yourself being attracted to uh, fish? I mean, like, do you like the I, movies? I dated what? Five, four. That sounds like three, a college exploit as well. Two, one, and looking for answers starting with Jack. I'm uh, Clive. <laughs> that is not it. correct. Makuga. <laughs> Good plug for Clive Owen, great British actor. Albert Brooks. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, he might have, might have voiced him, but not actually the name De of the character. Devon, Devon. Is it Marlin? That is correct for uh, a fuck. point there. Don't worry, I'll carry the team. Uh. All right, and Elliot. John Cusack? Not, <laughs> uh, not correct. Well, yeah. I wish John Cusack was my dad. <laughs> Would have been an odd name for a fish. Either Albert Brooks or John Cusack. Mm. All right. They named a clownfish Marlin? Marlin? That movie has some holes. Yeah. Third question. Third question comes in the category of dramas. This is serious films, something Josh is not in. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Frank and Carl encounter each other every year during what holiday? See yourself more as a uh, criminal or more as the guy getting the criminal? I think in your uh, history you've proven yeah, to be I've, one more. Yeah, I've than arrested other. over probably a hundred people myself in my life. I, I, I would, I would catch you if I could. You miss the thrill? I do sometimes. Yeah. Five, four, you want to arrest three, me? Three, two, the shoot? one. Looking for answers starting with Makuga. Uh, Christmas. That is correct, sir. Devon. What is Christmas? Ah, uh, that is correct. Oh yes, dear. Elliot. Christmas. And here in America, All we say right. Merry Christmas. All right. No, happy I, Christmas. And we're Jack. clowns. I thought it was a trick question when Thanksgiving is an American. No, oh, we are tied oh, up. Oh, oh, apologies. Yes. Apologies. We're tied up at yes. four here. I thought, I yes. thought you were trying to trick me with the, with okay. the weird holidays. Oh, happy and... Christmas. We wear crowns. It's a tree. Question. Excuse me, young boy. What day is it? Comes today? from oh, the world Christmas, of Christmas Eve, movie yeah. release dates. If you're talking, you will not hear the question. Okay, sorry, Mark. Which film Hard was you released? Course like First, course. Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore? Oh, shit. Mm, mm. Ken, I can't tell if Devon is fake British or just enjoys being real British so much. <laughs> a little column A, a little column B. 100%. Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Devon. What is Billy? That is Give correct. Him the point. Whoa, 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 we wrote Billy. That's not the name of the movie, dudes. The uh, challenge. Put them fucking on the table. All right. All right. Uh, the Josh is on the answer table. Answer from uh, Devon. The bread has been challenged by Josh the American. We will now consult with uh, the judges. The movie's not called Out Of. It's called Out of Africa. We are back. We have consulted with no less than four judges. And Ken, we have come to the ruling that had the question been asked and the choice has not been given in the question, we would not award the point simply to Billy. However, because the two options were Billy Madison Boo. and Happy Gilmore, that's we will right. allow that's, Billy that's, that's, to be accepted BS. as a I just a want point. you guys to know, I'm, I'm being serious right now. That is BS. Okay. That's fucking BS. Josh is, is letting like us this know. Every time you do. I'm so sorry. It's Kevin BS. Martin, you have to oh, it's this. Star Wars The Empire. We move what the fuck movie is that? To uh, a good one. I think Elliot I know what movie that is. <laughs> I wrote Billy Madison. That is correct. That's a boy for him. And not to be confused with all the other Billys that have movies. It's not, Billy right. it's not Billy yes, Elliot. Right. It's Billy Josh Madison. Billy Madison. And Makuga. <laughs> Billy Madison. <laughs> Look at him write the both names, just like a gentleman. To tie up the game at six oh, apiece. All here. right. Hot, hotly contested match thus far. All right. Fifth question comes Spicy. in the ca category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who played Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films? Uh, this one's uh, close to your uh, heart, maybe? Near and, uh, near and dear uh, to me yeah. is uh, all nine, ten, eleven and a half There's Harry Potter films. 13.1 films. Five. Count those other ones. Four. Yeah, prequels now. Three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Elliot. That would be Brown University's own Emma Watson. Wow. All right. Ten Look points for Gryffindor. Even American got education. The Ivy League school red. British born, Emma Watson. That's correct. That's also British true. by birth, American by choice. Mr. McCuga. I just wrote Emma. Emma. Is that cool? Yes. Uh, no, that's cool. my sister's yes. name, and my sister Emma wasn't Watson. in it. All right. <laughs> and Devon. Well, we know how you Americans love Emma Watson. Correct. We do. All your we wet do. dreams right. here. 
Whoa. We are tied up at eight. Tied up at eight. Tied up at eight. And we move on to action adventure. Would it be rude to ask for another beer? Action adventure. It yeah. would not if we have a production assistant that can really? Sorry, go grab that for We don't have it. lager on tap here. You, Your you question is, what classic movie character hails from Skull Island? Ooh, classic movie wow. character. Ken, it has been hotly debated in here. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell who's going to be friends with who at the end of this movie. Uh, you know, five, four, three, Two and one, we'll find out. Starting uh, <laughs> answers here, starting with Jack. King Kong. That is correct for nine points. King nine. Kong. That's right. King Kong. Devon. I put King. <laughs> uh, first to hit Ted. <laughs> <laughs> he actually put King Kong and Elliot Dewberry. We don't have kings here. We have presidents. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need any kings. We run a... Capitalist market society presidents. without a monarchy. And we stand for our flat. Uh, huh. Elliot, Elliot Tuber. It would be King Kong, That's not to be right. confused with Donkey Kong Tied or uh, up at oh, the, all the other Kongs. Here. Oh, oh, right. 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 Or King George, who we beat in the Civil the American ah. War. Oh, oh, the revolution. Shut up. I'm, it's fine. <laughs> all right, guys. Seventh question. It comes in the category of horror thriller, horror thriller. In 1976, The Omen, the character of Catherine Thorne was played by Lee Remick, who played the same character in the 2006 remake. Ugh, gross. Boy, I, uh, I saw that in the, uh, in the theater, mm. and it was because I was paid to do so by a review show that hired me before Schmoes Know How. I, I, I saw that in 76. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers, starting with Josh Bakuga. Yeah, Katie Sackoff. <laughs> no. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. No. It's a good guess. Uh, it, 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 it's scary. That's, I'm not going to see it. Yeah, I agree with that. Devon. I'm not going to watch the trailer. Who is Naomi Watts? Incorrect. Another good Elliot. guess. Fool. Donkey Kong. No, <laughs> incorrect. Jack. Carrie Allison Baker. And now we are looking for Julia Stiles, everybody. Oh, Julia oh, Stiles. Oh. Not going to lie, I did not watch that movie. I didn't yeah, care for it. You know what's yeah, you know what's a great film. movie is The Prince and Me with Julia Stiles. No, yeah. Great uh, movie. Wait, Final I question. Agree with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the last question in round one. Sometimes rounds end, and sometimes they just get put out of their misery. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Patreon question, so we want to give a shout out to John Patterson, a loyal patron who helped us with this question. John Patterson, the question is in the realm of 90s movies for you, everybody at home, as well as the field up there. Sick. What type of animal is used to lure the T-Rex out of the jungle in Jurassic Park? Mm, okay. Um, what type of animal? Is it a king's man? Is it a wild bear? Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm looking for answers starting with Devon. What is a cow? That is incorrect. Far. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I think he lost his accent there, boys. <laughs> I swear for God it was a cow, huh? <laughs> Elliot. Devon, Devon, back in the cow? cow. No, it's incorrect. Cow. Jack. Oh, I thought it was a cow. Okay. I'm going to say goat. That is. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Wow, okay. I don't know. Wild berries. Right. Bear. I will. Uh, I will. I will point out. Really I, 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 thank you very much. I, I will point out that uh, with that correct answer, the Wild Berries won absolutely nothing. They simply have a point lead yeah. on the Kingsmen. And your winner of round one, <laughs> the Wild Berries. To round two, also known as the wheel round. And yeah. if you thought things were hot oh, yeah. and sweaty in the first one, well, you're right. But the second round, things can really change because the stakes double can, and it is yeah. known as the wheel round. Each team is going to have a spin at that there wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you are awarded one mulligan, at which point you have to take whatever category you do spin. Each category has six questions for the teams to answer, and you're allowed to confer with your teammate at your leisure, though we do still have a 15 second time limit. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, teams, there is stealing available in round two. Ken, it does appear that the Wildberries are beating the Kingsmen by a very dramatic point. Yeah. So, Wildberries, would you like to spin first or defer to your brothers across the pond? We will defer. 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 That's very oh, gentlemanly okay. of yeah. you. It is. That's very ladylike. 
<laughs> well, uh, no offense to my women here. <laughs> <laughs> All class. All Kingsman, class. Uh, you are going to spin you first. Slowly well, like turning into a southern gentleman. Over yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to sound more like the judge in uh, My Cousin Vinny than an actual British prison. <laughs> All right. No, 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 fully, fully British here. Fully. Uh, you know, Brit. Mark, I didn't go to college. I started my radio career. Was that first round what a frat party was like? I still don't know. Uh, that what was I what a frat party that gets shut down. Oh, and uh, okay. m m Many people go to jail. I'm still that. shaken by that, yeah. what I've uh, witnessed here. Uh, that, that was more like a DUI arrest. In one. Woo. And here comes the wheel. Solid Boom. spin. Very dainty spin. By uh, Kingsman. We're looking at modern. No, Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Robin Williams. You Robin Williams. Keep it? I, I, I don't. I, I don't uh, you, you know Robin Williams is American. Robin Williams right. played many national Brits. treasures here. On here, uh, let's do it. All right, they're gonna stick. Whoa, with all right. the Robin when they were Williams. casting Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Very interesting uh, choice because Robin Williams, one of the most beloved uh, comedic actors of all time, maybe if Kingsman don't get a question, the Wild Berries have a legit chance to steal. Uh, Ken Knapsack will be administering the Robin Williams questions. All right, six questions, six questions in this category. First one up. Who directed Robin Williams in the dark comedy Death to Smoochie? Can we have multiple choice, please? <laughs> multiple choice, it is. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Mark. A, Danny DeVito. B, Barry Levinson. C, Edward Norton. D, Mike Nichols. B, Barry Levinson. That is incorrect for Steel. Take it. Can you read those again, please? A, Danny DeVito. Does that count as a J.P. B, Barry Levinson. C, Edward Norton. D, Mike Nichols. Five, four, three. Danny DeVito? Two. That is correct for a Ooh, point okay. and a steal. And I don't want to call myself Nostradamus or a prof of any kind, Ken, but we already see that bearing fruit. The Wild Berry is clearly fans of Robin Williams as well. Right, right. Uh, he was uh, uh, loved by many, right? Including okay. <laughs> second question, second question. Not wrong. Who did Robin Williams play in the Knights of the Museum films? Oh, uh, do, do. Uh, well, no, because we did that last time. You said okay. Cedric the Entertainer. Whisper it ever so softly. <laughs> All right. Going to need an answer soon in five, four. The Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. That is correct for two Eleanor points. <laughs> It was so cute to see them remember American history. I believe he was holding a stick where yeah, he no, would speak sword. softly a sword, not a and stick. carry a big stick. But yeah. also, there you go. On the horse. Yeah. All right, third question out of six. In oh, Jumanji, in Jumanji, sorry, sorry, sorry. what does Robin Williams' father make at his factory? Wait, wait, I know the answer. Sure? Okay. What are shoes? It is a shoe That's factory. Correct. Two more points there. It's a cobbler as. All right. All right. This smattering of applause shows just how much they like the Kingsman. <laughs> and okay. no one likes you. Fourth question. Fourth Everyone question. What a great British insult there. <laughs> Name the movie that stars Robin Williams as a saxophonist who is sent with the circus to perform in New York City and decides to defect. What is multiple choice, please? <laughs> A, Moscow on the Hudson. B, Seize the Day. C, The Best of Times. D, The World According to Garp. But those are movies. <laughs> Five, four, three, yeah. two, yeah. one. Yeah. C. That is incorrect. Is it Moscow on the Hudson? That's correct for yeah. Steel. <laughs> Two that questions remain, Ken, and USA. the King McKay, Was Mikhail Baryshnikov in that movie? I believe he was. I believe the, the famed dancer whose poster you have many of on your walls. Uh, and trading cards. All right, <laughs> number five out of six. Five out of six. Who was Robin Williams' co-lead in the 2009 Disney comedy Old Dogs? Yeesh. Of course, they picked the movies that no one watched. Oh, <laughs> that's part of the point. Can we Five, add uh, <laughs> four. Uh, multiple choice? Please. All right. A, John Travolta. B, Martin Lawrence. C, Tim Allen. D, Emilio Estevez. Oh, dog. 
Yeah, it's it's just the worst lineup. <laughs> <I know. laughs> They're all believable. I think so. Go for it. What is John Travolta? That's correct for a okay. point. Wow, what a it's still a 15, oh, 13 Well, I know that it's definitely not a Martin Lawrence movie. What's the, what's the one with the motorcycles Are we and John Travolta? Wild Dogs. Wild Dogs. Wild Hogs. 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 Final this. question. Final question in this category. Who directed the 1996 oh. comedy Jack? Kingsman would really like I know this the movie. I'm nice. terrible with directors. To separate themselves from the wild bears. Multiple choice, day. please. Multiple choice, indeed. It is A, Joe Johnston, B, Mike Nichols, C, Francis Ford Coppola, D, Chris Columbus. For a three point lead? Yeah, this, is a, this would be key. Okay. Five. <laughs> that one's four, up to you. Three, two, one. Who is one? Mike Nichols. That is incorrect for a steal. It was Francis, Francis Ford, Ford Coppola. All right. One point game. Yeah. Big, Big, Big Wildberries. Kingsman scored five points there, uh, Mr. Ellis, but three points in steals for Wildberries. We knew so. that they were fans of Wildberries, a lot like Jack. They're just kids in a grown man's body, and now it is the Wildberries' <laughs> turn to spin. Uh, it looks like Elliot is. is newly He's married, back. He's off the market, ladies. Oh, congratulations. Look at him, his handsome, great beard. Elliot Dewberry and Makuga oh, both have found Bryce. Look at that. Holy, that is one hell of a spin. That is Even an American spin if I've ever choice, seen one, Ken. We're fine with that because we yeah, know everything about everything. everything. you got to think they're looking for 80s movies. That's the decade God, in which no, they were born. Yeah, because they were alive Stop. in the 80s. Uh, yeah. oh, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's 80s. Oh. It could be a point of choice or Ken. Oh. It is the 80s. Are they going to stick with it? You should ask yourself. It's, here's the thing. It's a broad category. All right, rip it again. Rip it again. Rip They're it again. not going to go with 80s. I don't know about that there. That Ken, was a good rip. Good I feel privileged like to McQueenie have witnessed a like, master oh, strategy oh, session oh, between oh, two great oh, players right there. Yeah. yeah, all the strategy of a skill from scene from Well, I guess Americans normally get what they want, don't they? And no, it no, looks no, like no, we're no, not no, going to no, get no. 80s again. Ooh. We could have Sandra Bullock or Disaster, Disaster Movie. Movie. Oh, I like that. That's fine. Okay. What is Volcano? Yes. Disaster Volcano. Films. What is Dante's Peak? Disaster Here's Films. Front. Disaster Dante's. Films. Not to be confused with this game. Disaster Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> what okay. is Legally Blonde 2? Back in Blonde. Day After Tomorrow. Miss Congeniality. Oh, All right, guys. Six questions. Six questions. Six questions, and the first question in the world of disaster films is, who played Blake Gaines, daughter to Dwayne Johnson's character in the disaster film San Andreas? Uh, Alexandra Daddario. Two points for the Wild Berries. You would have guessed they could have gotten that one right. That movie is a tale of warning, people. I saw it in 4DX. And I highly recommend. Good way to see it. Good All way to see right. It. Thank you for the advertisement. <laughs> Your next question. What 90s disaster film starring Bill Paxton was the second film directed by prolific cinematographer Jan de Bont? Twister. Wow. Didn't he? Yep. That is correct. Two points. Wow. This didn't even need the other wild berry. That's a <laughs> solo berry move right there. <laughs> solo berry. <laughs> It's a one berry that kind of answer. Been solo berry <laughs> yeah. when we really think Should probably about take it. the S off of your name. Yeah. Your next question in the world of disaster movies is the following. In the first segment of Cloverfield, Beth and Rob make plans to visit what attraction slash location in the New York City area? Multiple choice, please. We can provide that. Is it A, Coney Island, B, Central Park, C, the Empire State Building, or D, the Statue of Liberty? I think it's Statue of Liberty. That is incorrect, yep. Kingsman. I'd like to say B, Central Park. That is also incorrect. Yeah, Looking for the hot dog that. capital of the world, you, Coney I Island. Gave you that oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Coney Island, we see some chemistry issues developing between the, yeah. the Brits here. Little known yep. fact, yep. little known fact, Coney Island is not the best. Yeah, Your kind of a fourth shimmel. question <laughs> in the world, I recommend Doghouse. Thank you, Adam Gertler. <laughs> Your next question in the world of disaster movies, the Andrea Gale is the name of a ship in what 2000s biographical disaster drama? A uh, perfect storm. Let's go for two more points. <laughs> two points, and they've opened up a five-point lead. I'll we tell still you have what, two questions to go. Nobody grows a spotty beard quite like 
Mark Wahlberg because no, in that movie <laughs> it is spotty and it is handsome. That is a fun Fife, fact. Back me up on that one. Fun fact yep. on that These one. These questions are very lack of in intelligence. Your next really. question. That's why they're disaster movies, dumb dumb. In the 1993 <laughs> movie Alive, the plane passengers were on their way to compete in what sport Soccer. before crashing in the Andes Mountains? Soccer, football. That is it incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Incorrect. Can we ask for multiple choice? Even you you, you may not. It, it, they How have many of these have you seen? Bollocks. I, well, you want to know what? I like to try and slide a new one in there and see if they'll go to guess. You are on the um, clock. What sport was it? Yeah. Can we ask for a JTE? Uh, I can certainly give you a JTE rule. You. That's one of your three. In the 1993 movie Alive, the yeah. plane passengers were on their way to compete in what sport before crashing in the Andes? Well, we know it's not football or something. Looking for an answer. Were they white men? Five, white men. Four, <laughs> four um, three, skiing. Two, in correct. It was rugby. It was, it was rugby. It was rugby. Shit. Very similar oh, okay. looking. And nobody flies for rugby. I'm Professional dogs. To football. And now the last question for the Wild Bears. Ken, if they get this right without the aid of multiple choice, they're going to have a seven point lead. lead. It, what seems like a close game could be a wide margin going yep. into the last round. Your last question. What actor narrated the 2005 film War of the Worlds? Well, going to have to go multiple choice on that one. Thanks for jinxing us, jinxing us there, Ellis. No, I'm not sure what voice you're doing. Yeah, That's my Ernest Borgnine. Your or multiple his choice right, options multiple. are, is it A, Lawrence Fishburne, B, James Earl Jones, C, Morgan Freeman, or D, Michael Clark Duncan? Answer if they can get him to close it out here. Uh, we're going to go That's Lawrence fun. Fishburne. That is incorrect, <laughs> Kingsman. Can you that close the gap to four? <laughs> uh, we an answer here. Ian. Five, four, three, two. Need an answer. One. Who is James L. Jones? That is I incorrect. Mean, he, who is it? He's, who is it? he's literally known I mean, for being the VO guy on so many movies, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he, <laughs> he does penguins, he does aliens, he does Mountain Dew, doesn't matter. He was too obvious. All right, competitors, we move on to round three where the Wildberries have a five-point lead in round three. We will determine our champion of the match here today. Because the Wildberries have a lead, they're going to be giving us numbers first. What those numbers are range from one to 20. We need a series of three numbers from each team. Those correspond to a movie category up here at the answer desk. We're going to ask you three questions if we get that far. Your first question is worth two points. Your next question worth three points. The last question worth five points. Because this is the team format, you may only confer for the five-point question. Once we tell you the category of the two-point question, the team must decide who is going to answer that question solo, a one king or a one berry, and then the opposite teammate will be answering whatever the three-point question is. Like I said before, you can confer for the five-point question only. Wildberries, we need three numbers ranging from one to 20. Should you be able to count that high? Uh, three, uh, six, and nine. I don't think they actually Multiples. can count to 20 again. It did not Multiples. sound like it. Three, uh, six, yeah. nine, Kingsman. One off you. Seven, uh, 16. Uh, 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 11. All, All right. right. Seven, Joe Theismann, I've Joe never Montana, seen such Mark befuddled Rippin. amusement over numbers since Hugh Jackman, I mean, Hugh Grant in All Notting right. Hill. But, 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 All right, getting his heels mixed up. Old pool there. Flipping uh, the hues, flipping the hues around. <laughs> uh, Ken, you will be administering the Kingsman questions. I will be asking the Wildberries their questions. Absolutely. And I do remind you, uh, when you answer with the who is, you're kind of taking time away for yourselves because sometimes the answers are timed in some of these matches. So. Yeah. Uh, unless yeah. you're stalling, be careful there. Here we go. All right, guys, here you go. You guys pick 7, 16, 11. Number 7 corresponds to the category of comic book movies. It's a two-point question. Who will be answering this one? I'm going to give you that one because you got that on lock. Devon sure. is going to be answering this two-point question. Took his glasses off, two Ken. Two-point question. Bruce Campbell cameos as what role in 2002's Spider-Man? He was at the door of the theater. What do you call that role? The, the, the doorman? The, uh, what, what is that called? What? You're about the, looking for a final answer in five, four, three, 
the usher two, or one, the no do- what incorrect. We're looking for wrestling ring announcer. The That's ring announcer right. of the wrestling of, man. Oh, thinking of number thinking two. Say, oh. Yes. Bonesaw well, is ready. Here we go. Macho man. I still haven't heard bollocks from you guys yet. I like that word. Oh, All right. Bollocks. Oh, you do? Uh, the oh, next sorry. number you selected was the number 16. We are in not quite uh, must-get territory, but they uh, it'd be a little pressure. If here. they want to win in regulation, can they need to grit this one and the five-pointer. Absolutely. We have a... Three-point question, number 16, is the Someone category plays. of comedy for you, Jack. Comedy. Okay. You'll be answering this, this one. What is the name of the Polly Shore film that centers around a courtroom? That centers around a courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pauly Shore or Polly Shore? Polly Shore. There's Got it. Just the accent mess up there. Um, four, three. Two and one. Nah, Need an answer. No answer. Sorry. Looking for jury duty. Jury, jury duty. duty. <laughs> saw it in the theater. Not jury it. duty. In the yeah. theater. Also saw it in the theater. Wow, that is All the, right. one of the most forgettable movies I've heard in a Schmodown question ever. Here Thank you. We didn't we even go son in law. I don't we think went, I was we alive when that duty. film came out. All sorry, right. Sorry. You chose for your five-point question. You need this to tie the game and stay alive. I will find you. Ready, Here everybody. we have uh, the category is, for number 11, new releases. New releases. Oh. You guys can confer Confirm. in this round. Five-point question. What is the town called in it? The one... <laughs> I, I watched I, both, both of them, and I don't, right. I don't remember. Five, four, three, two, one. Need an answer. We no, have a winner Can by way of TKO. Wow. Get it. We're looking for dairy. dairy. Looking for dairy, Maine. It's just, it's either in the brain or it's not, Ken. One of those kind of rounds for the Kingsmen, but nonetheless, the Wildberries, after a very shaky, controversial round one for them and the Kingsmen, got their ship straight. And I think a lot of that had to do with them stealing a few Robin Williams questions and then progressing into what ultimately became a TKO, but a, a sporting match played by both squads. Yeah, don't do that again, but let me tell you about this. Uh, this was an interesting match. A lot of fire, a lot of brimstone early on, but you settled in, and then it was about that second round, I think. Uh, the Kingsmen performed. They get five points in the second round. That, that's normally pretty good, but when the Wildberries steal three points, that makes it tough. And in the end, uh, you know, it just came down to your the, the pressure on yourself that you kind of got yourself in. That happens every now and then. Well, it's not the end until we throw it over to Jen Sturger for an exclusive post-match interview with both the winning team and the losing team. Miss Sturger, take it away. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with the... Wildberry! Jen, it is so good to see you again oh. under such positive circumstances. Jen Sturger, let me tell you, the pleasure is all on this side of the berry table, okay? Every time we happen to see you, at least the last couple of days, we have won, Elliot. That's we right. We are friggin' winners. Wait, thank you, Jen. Are you, you thirsty? Are you, do you need, do you need here you go. Here oh, you go. thank you. That's a gentleman right there. You know what's wild, most wild about the Wildberries? Hold this mic. Is that, yeah, sure, what the hell? We are gentlemen. We are wild gentlemen that come from wild roots, but at the end of the day, we put our pants on just like the rest of you. We have a butler hold them and we jump into them. That's right. It's the only way to do it. It's fun, Guys. it's exciting, <laughs> and it's full of pants. So, you guys are saying that me being here has something to do with you winning? Correct. Would you like to join Team Wildberries? We're, we're currently taking applications. I think we need to start our own stable. I, I think this train has no brakes. None. And you know what? Brakes or conductor. Are not for wild people. I'll even extend an olive branch to our victims. Like the army of Genghis Khan, we shall defeat our enemies and then build our army bigger from the bones of the people we've trampled upon. Defeat, recruit. Before you know it, our stable is going to be so strong, everybody is going to be a wild berry. Every single person except the Patriots because nobody likes them. Not interested. 
Guys, you've won two in a row. That's, that's right. That's called a winning streak. That's two for two. Two for two. We're two and two, guys. We're two and two. So let me tell you a little something, Jen. Okay. Okay. This, this this team came from humble beginnings. Okay. And when I say humble, I don't mean humble at all. We came in guns blazing, and you know what happened? Those guns weren't shooting so hot at the beginning. We were kind of like those guns were defective. They were and not needed good. a little bit of that gun oil. And then you put us in front of 300 people in Van Nuys, California, and we lit the place on fire. And you know what, Elliot? That fire is still. Burning. That fire is burning like Centralia, Pennsylvania. It's not going out anytime soon. Never! And that was a natural disaster in a disaster movie. Disaster movies. This is really warm, guys. Back to you. got anything oh, to say, Jen? Listen, we have more we want to say, okay? Because the world needs to hear more Wild Berries. Let's call the world out wants some teams, to hear more. Okay? There's a lot of teams out there that think they can beat the Wild Berries, but once you're on the midnight train to Georgia, there's no getting off. Once you step on those tracks, Woo! you're getting crushed under those wheels. Wild Berries, we sell t-shirts and win matches. And guess who's coming next? We're coming after you, Top 10. You, Team Action. You, uh, only stupid answers. We want blood. We want revenge. I want everybody. I want all of the questions sort of right. And I don't want any belts because my pants fit fine. We came here to drink beer and kick ass. And I gave my last beer to Jen Sturger. Woo! So look out. Bye. Guys, I need my mic. Thanks. Sorry, Jen. Here, here's your mic. Hey, guys, you guys can, you guys can pick up the t-shirts. Uh, tpublic.com uh, backslash, I don't know, but just look for the Wildberries t-shirts. It's a hot new one with me holding a keg. Wildberries! You'll be the hit of all your holiday parties. Wildberries! Christian, why do you make me stand back here? Ah, uh, Kingsman. That was a bit of a shit show. Jen, we're going to have to stop you right there real quick, okay? Of course. Because you may have called that a shit show. But those men were being cheered on. Is that what you call a hero? Those animals. The boisterous, the, the animosity of them. The smell. They were being cheered. What is this? Is this your king? <laughs> uh, is, that what, is that what they are to you? I mean, you have to give it to them. This is their second win in a row. That makes it a winning streak. They're kind of on fire right now. And you guys were actually doing really well. And then you got Rob Williams in the second round. Do you feel, I feel like the, the wheels just kind of came off. First of all, Whip, born in 88, born in 95. We didn't know any, look, look, look. Let me be straight up with you real quick. 88, 95, anything before the 90s, Rob Williams. What the hell? Nobody, what the hell? nobody cares. Don't We're trying to say, oh, wait. <clears throat> We're trying to save you people. These Americans, are, they're filthy creatures. And you cheer for them. I, you should be ashamed. Did you just lose your accent? No, no definitely no. not. Had something in my throat, dear. Yeah, he gets these <clears throat> things. It's like anaphylactic shock for peanuts, but for <laughs> accents. Of course. That's what just happened. EpiPen. Oh, and he's British oh, again. Oh, I'm back. Oh, he's British. I'm back. Right. OK, so who's next, guys? Who's next? Well, we're going to call out the real rejects. And we're not going to call you out. We're just going to offer you to a polite battle. So, Have yeah. you met the real rejects? As long as they're nothing like the Wild Breeze, it, it, they're not even, they're not scary. The Wild Breeze are just really aggressive people and I feel like we need less of that in the world right now. So we're going for somebody like the real rejects because- cool. That makes sense. Definitely less. Totally met the real rejects. Totally less aggressive. We don't like to meet our opponents before we fight them. We don't wanna, we don't wanna put anything out there. They're like, oh, they tried to copy us or they tried to, they found my personal stash of favorite movie questions and weaknesses. So we're just gonna keep it singular and keep it never- Hopefully the match with the real rejects doesn't leave me itchy like this last one. <laughs> Infected <laughs> by the wild breeze, not not yeah, not, no, not the by wild breeze. Infected. It, 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 I was, yeah. never mind. Never. Back to you guys. All right, Ken, there you have it. I mean, the Wild Bears, as one might expect, calling out everybody from hell to the heavens. They want more matches. Kingsman getting a little more specific with their request. Yeah, Kingsman uh, calling out real rejects. Uh, the Wild Bears, like that drunk guy in the bar about 11.30, challenging everyone at the front to a fight. They are just ready to go. Don't punch any cops. Uh, they're they're going to take it out there. They're shipping off to Boston, maybe there. But uh, I, I like the Kingsman. Uh, on their heels a little bit, they're, they're, they're not stopping. They're going to go forward. And the real rejects, that, that's a good challenge. I and, like that. And if I may... 
uh, show a path of hope to the Kingsmen, it would be the path of the Wildberries, who now find themselves at 2-2. Two right. two. The Kingsmen are 0-2, but they can climb out of that hole with just sheer entertainment ability, much the same way the Wildberries right. did. You look at entertainment ability, you go back to the live match June 2nd at El Portal Theater. You can get tickets in this vid's description. Just click on that link, and you can get tickets. Hurry up before they sell out. You're going to see a triple threat Star Wars match featuring Ken Knapsack and a headlining matchup between the Shire Wolves and Team Action Kenny. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to competing in front of the Schmodown fans and perhaps disappointing you as I take your heroes and cast them aside. It's going to be fun. Make sure you guys check out Ken Knapsack at all of his podcast endeavors, including Force Center. Follow him at Ken Knapsack. I am merely Mark Ellis. And most importantly of all, check out the Schmodown Patreon. Sign to be a patron right now, and you could hear your name said by these gorgeous slips or the golden throat of Christian Harloff. Until next time, subscribe here to Collider Video. We'll see you then. What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and it is time for your Schmodown Breakdown. And your winner! Both teams today started off pretty strong, and their strengths seemed to line up as the first round ended with Wild Berries leading by one with a score of 11 to 10. Now in the second round, the Kingsmen had several missteps in the Robin Williams category, and the Wild Berries capitalized on all three of their steal opportunities. That momentum continued as they added six points from the disaster category and that gave them a huge five point lead going into the final round. The Kingsmen could not muster up a single point as they went 0 for 3 and gave the Wildberries the TKO as well as their second win in a row. Inside the numbers we see the Kingsmen did not have a great day at all. They didn't even answer 50% of their questions. In fact, they missed the last seven questions thrown their way. As for the Wildberries, they put together another very competent performance, answering 68% of their questions. Their accuracy rate is up 5% from last season. Now, if you want to find out other stats from around the league, check out. Forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on YouTube and your podcast feeds. This has been your Schmo Down Breakdown. How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And, yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match, for God's sakes.